Good morning, Valley. Today on Valley Por Vida, we've got a lot in store for you. We'll be learning about mental health awareness for the month of May with the help of our friends over at South Texas Health System. Plus, we've got details on how one McAllen ISD professional is being recognized for helping students and families in the RGV stay fed and stay healthy amid the pandemic. Now, there is so much going on, so don't go anywhere. Valley Por Vida starts right now. Hi there, and thanks again for joining us this morning. I'm your host, Danielle Bonda. Well, yesterday we talked about the month of May honoring stroke awareness, and today we're learning about another important cause. That's mental health awareness. The team at South Texas Health System passionately serves patients of our Rio Grande Valley community, and they've got some helpful information for us to keep in mind all month long. Go ahead and take a look. My name is Patricia Hernandez and I am one of the clinical social workers at South Texas Health System Behavioral. Well, Mental Health Awareness Month happens every year in May and it is critical for us to be able to open up discussion about mental health. There tends to be a stigma and mental health is treated very differently from physical health. So it is critical for us to open up the dialogue and also be a resource to our community for mental health treatment. I think it's a multifaceted issue, but I definitely think our culture comes into play. You know, we also have to take into consideration that depression, mental health are newer topics that are coming to the forefront that people are more willing to discuss. So when we think about our grandparents, you know, they just chalked it up to like, oh, well, that's how Maria, for example, is, right? They didn't understand that those symptoms and behaviors that Maria was displaying actually could have had a diagnosis, right? And there could have been a treatment. So a lot of it has to do with simply educating um, our community and saying like, hey, there is a reason why some people may be making these decisions or exhibiting these behaviors, and there's something that we can do to help. There is a vast variety of symptoms and um, conditions that we can experience in regards to our mental health. Um, some things to look out for are just general changes in your mood, your demeanor, your sleep, and your appetite. That could be insomnia. That could be you feel like you're sleeping, but you're waking up and you're constantly not feeling rested. Perhaps excessive sleep, fatigue, restlessness, um, constant worrying, crying spells. Um, I think another one to be on the lookout for is perhaps having a general disinterest or lack of joy from those things that once did bring you happiness. And I think the biggest key for everyone to remember whether you are the one experiencing the symptoms or perhaps concerned about someone you know experiencing these symptoms is that reflecting on are these symptoms causing a significant impact to my daily functioning? Because I'm experiencing these symptoms, am I not able to function how I was functioning before? There's always hope, there's always treatment. You know, um, if we take into consideration too, physical health, right? There is perhaps some physical health diagnosis that maybe cause a little bit more hopelessness than others. However, with everything, there is hope, there is help, and there are people here in our community that are willing to help and guide you along the way. Please call us at South Texas Behavioral at any time. Our number is 956-388. 1300. We are available 24 seven. We will always have someone available to you, whether that be by phone call or walking in on our doors at any time to have somebody conduct an assessment and then talk to you about further steps that can happen from there. We hope you keep in mind this helpful information regarding mental health awareness this month uh, and reach out to the team at STHS for any questions that you may have. Now, if you'd like more information on services offered by South Texas Health System, feel free to visit their McAllen location, give their team a call, or of course, you can always log on to their website. All right, well, McAllen Independent School District was able to come up with new and unique ways to communicate with students and their families amid the pandemic. And one of their nutrition, uh, their team's nutrition professionals, rather, was recently recognized for her efforts to keep our Rio Grande Valley kids and parents safe and healthy. And our team dropped by their kitchen for an inside look. Go ahead and check it out. 
Hey, good morning, everybody. I'm Donna with General Mills. Happy to be here at McGowan ISD to talk about the General Mills Trade Blazers that we've selected Alex Molina, the Director of School Nutrition here at McGowan. Good morning, everyone. McAllen ISD has a 113-year tradition of feeding kids in our schools. But what happens when schools close unexpectedly? McAllen ISD Child Nutrition never hesitated and knew that our families, while learning virtually, still needed the support of our operations team. Starting on March 23rd, our fearless staff, with the support of our superintendent and school board, began a mission to serve families in the community. So who did we turn to? Our bus drivers are people that our parents depend on every day to safely transport their kids. So partnering with our transportation team, we used our established Here Comes the Bus app and switched it a little bit. This app then provided meal times and meal arrival information for families. So working families that wanted to make sure that their kids had meals, downloaded the app and were notified when the bus was in the proximity of their homes. kids were able to step out and were able to pick up hot lunches, breakfast, and dinner all in one stop. Kids didn't even have to be present. Thanks to TDA waivers, we were able to have parents pick up meals for their kids while they were learning, while parents were on lunch breaks, and therefore we knew that our kids didn't have to be hungry. We also made sure that we had daily contact with families. Why is this important? Kids were learning virtually. They lost access to their teacher, their friends, their principals, and their school building. Yet they got to see a friendly smile, and while we weren't able to hug, a fist pump and a smile through a mask made all the difference to our students. This August, we again had to start remotely, and while now we have about 38% of our kids back face-to-face, -face, we still are prov providing remote meals to our families, and face-to-face -face meals. General Mills has been a fantastic partner with us. They've given us graphics for our social media. They've supported our use of Bitmoji Lisa and Bitmoji Oneida to communicate real-time information to families and have strongly supported our Facebook presence. Having industry partners like General Mills makes job of myself and my colleagues easy. They're a resource of pre-printed graphics they're a resource in menu ideas. And while we've had supply and demand issues from vendors, their real-time notification allows us to let our families know of menu changes. Who doesn't want to start off with Lucky Charm cereal or Cinnamon Toast Crunch while learning virtually from home? So while school is getting ready to wrap up, McAllen and ISD Child Nutrition will provide community meals June, July, and August. Please join us on the McAllen ISD Child Nutrition Facebook page or the McAllen ISD website and look out for the closest location to you all summer long. We want to make sure that while school is out, learning doesn't stop and we can make sure to provide you access to healthy, nutritious and delicious meals every day. Please join us at any of our feeding locations. There is no charge. Children ages 1 to 18 can participate at no charge and again, if your kids are learning virtually, they do not have to be with you to pick up meals. Again, June the 1st through August is when their team will again have the summer feeding program and you don't even have to be a McAllen ISD enrolled child to benefit from these amazing services. Now, if you'd like more information on all that they've got going on, then feel free to visit their website. All right, well, it's time now to take a commercial break and then we've got to look at your local weather updates, but stay tuned because Valley Por Vida will be back. And we'll have details on a food truck in Brownsville with great food and a family-friendly and fun outdoor environment. Those details and so much more coming up.